Hey everybody, I want to wheeze them here. It is Friday, June 2nd. Again, extremely hard to believe it's already June here. It's 12.53 in the morning. If I sound tired, it's because I am very tired. <laughs> and, uh, truth be told, I should not be doing this, but I wanted to have a uh, video for tomorrow after this afternoon, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to try to get through this. One of the reasons we never did Ember uh, is honestly because she seemed extremely complicated. Just like Mysticat seemed extremely complicated and Chain Reaction seemed complicated, so did Ember. Uh, Mysticat, as it turned out, uh, you know, we haven't reset him just yet to take the other path, but base upgrades and Meow, Mew, Meow You See Me, which was a fantastic path, really fairly straightforward once you took a little time with him. Uh, this chick, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I've got uh, <laughs> I've got to be up at like uh, super early tomorrow. And again, I, if I was doing what's in my own best interest, I would not be here right now. But I'm uh, going to try to get it done and then shower and see if I can sleep and still wake up by when I need to. Uh, it's going somewhere. Oh yeah, I've... I've got some interesting stories from the past couple of days. I'm not going to tell them here because I need this video to be as efficient as possible. So, looking at the spreadsheet from last time, uh, which was her base, I'm sorry, her introductions is where we ended things with Ember. <laughs> it sounds fairly straightforward, but it's really not. And uh, I'll be honest, if I had more time or I was, you know... Um, more coherent or alert, I would probably go ahead and count it out for sure tonight. I don't have that kind of time. It's it's not that luxury at this point in time. So the way this works, the X to slash, that's simple. It's 27 to 41. 27 standard, 41 critical. You can just X your way through everything, 27 to 41. However, when you start spamming it, you will eventually get into the samurai combo. And you say, oh, well, hey, that's great. And it is. It's pretty cool. The catch is it's a strange combo. It's almost like a wind-up type of a thing, if you remember that character. I've used him in the playthrough. Uh, specifically, the tech realm was probably the last time we saw him. But... She kind of has two stages of the spin. The first spin does 16 to 22. We know that definitively. And then the second stage of the spin, which in the spreadsheet I have them denoted as A and B, it does 22 to 33. It basically looks the same, but it's quicker and has sort of like a fire element to it, uh, as vague as that seems, given that she's a fire element <laughs> sentinel. But you'll see what I mean here in just a second. The issue I have with it is... It's one of those things that just spits out damage numbers, and the only way I can accurately tell you we hit 16 to 22 five times and 22 to 33 five or six times or whatever it may be is to do it a ton of times and then count it in editing. And again, I don't have that kind of time tonight, so we're just going to take it as simplistic as we can, and then I should have, you know, the video I can go back to on YouTube when I've uploaded it, and before I release the spreadsheet for her, I can come in and hopefully accurately count it, but the truth is, I think I'm the only person that does this type of a thing, <laughs> and uh, tonight is not a good night, uh, so uh, there's family in town, it's been a very busy uh, two days, and... Uh, yeah, I, I will leave it at that. But uh, Flame Geyser, something else. You think, oh, well, hey, that's you know simple enough, right? Press B to summon a Flame Geyser. Enemies struck by this attack have a living bomb placed on them. The bomb strength increases whenever those enemies are hit. So it starts out simplistic, okay? We are going to do the Flame Geyser itself. 46 to 69. Beautiful. Understand it. The living bomb, you can. it looks like there's a giant meteor or lava rock above an enemy's head. It sits there. If you don't touch it, it explodes over time. It does 17 to 23. When you start hitting it, <laughs> it changes. What I have in the spreadsheet here is... 20, let's see, 30 to 37-ish. And then I've witnessed it explode it up to 64. Again, this is something I really, this is probably what should be like a 40 minute video figuring this stuff out. And again, I, I don't have that time. So um, I'm going to back out of here and just try to showcase this stuff for you. Okay, so primary attack, I love it. You just slash, 
27 beautiful we saw the standard and the enhanced damage now i'm gonna one two three four with the x and we're gonna spin and do the 16 and 22 and then before it terminates it's going to ramp up speed up with the fire and do the increased attack damage and there we go and again that's very very hard to count in real time and i apologize for that i didn't design the game it's fantastic news if you're trying to inflict damage it's not good news if you're trying to count it as you sit here in a sleep deprived state having to be up in just a few hours and knowing that this is going to take an eternity to render uh this is a secondary attack boom and you're like oh hey what's that thing above him well it explodes at 17. Here's the catch then. If I come in and we slash once, 23. Um, dad come. I thought that would happen. So, 1, 2, 30. Alright, so 17, 23, 30. I'm sensing a pattern. 1, 2. Dang it. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three. Can we get a 37? I think that was 37. I have to kill him because he's of no use to us. So, fire this off. One, two, three, four. And he timed out at 37. So, you get out of here. And do this again. Alright, one, two, three. Bad gum. That's the risk that you run when you're trying to do this. <laughs> so. Just, you know what? Kill yourself, anyway. I don't have time. I don't have time for you. Okay. Boom. One, two, three, four. Forty-four. Cool. I don't know... I wonder how I got it up that high. It must have been on a training dummy or something. Let me go ahead and log this for us. So, uh, it does 17 to 23. Uh... 17, 23, 30, 37, 44. If we follow that scale, it would not get up to 64 unless something changes, or it was a critical. Um, 44, if we go another hit on that, it would be 51, 58, 65. Okay, I don't know that that's going to happen. And again, the problem you've got with these guys, if you combo the man... Oh, 57! Dad gum. Okay. Uh, oh, 57 though. Dang it. So it is dropping down slightly. Okay, so we saw 44. We know there's 57. <laughs> Uh, there could be 64 then, because that would be plus 7. So the question now becomes, does the change in progression going up... Uh, we went 23 was 6, and then 7, 7, and 6. Okay, we've got... Let's see. I want to go secondary. 1, 2, 3. 37. And I have to kill him. And we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, forty-four. So now we need to go for five. That's gonna be the number of interest for us. Wrong button. One, two, three, four, five. No. <laughs> I did see sixty-four. Hmm. I've got to kill him because we need as many hits as possible here. I had a feeling I'd do this to myself. I'll just go ahead and... Okay. One, two, three... You know, okay, screw this. This is why it's frustrating with the way the training grounds is set up. It doesn't leave me a lot of leeway for things of this nature. <laughs> and subsequently, you've got to... I will say Ember is slow. That's one of the downsides to this chick. She seems pretty cool, but that is a striking weakness. Uh, also, a weak note is the load screens. I'm not a fan, particularly in this circumstance, but... I'll go ahead and also do her standard attack down here, because honestly, in my opinion, it's easier to accurately count uh, when I do have to go slow the video down and see how many times uh, we put around. So Onward we go. 
Luckily that annoying POS spawned in there so we don't have to deal with it. <laughs> and here we go. Let's just spam the primary first. Okay. Yep. Is it four? Hey, I'm able to get it to do just a standard. Hmm. Again, honestly, I'm too tired, but I do feel like we can slow that down and figure it out, and that's what we wanted to do. Interestingly enough, we've been doing smashers and sorcerers, and we don't really get a legit jump attack. And then with good old Ember, check it out. She gets a legit... She's a sentinel. And she gets a jump attack, which I absolutely love. This is very cool. I think I was raving about this. <laughs> it's got good area, too. Granted, those guys aren't far apart, but still, 40 to 60 uh, and a cool-looking attack, I'll take it. So I was saving to showcase that one. Flame Geyser, though, this is what I need to figure out. Boom. One, two, three. 64. So we did get a 64 there. Let's see if I can limit this. One, two, three, four. Dang it. It's so hard, you can't risk going into the combo. You know what I mean? Okay. One, two, three. Seventy-one. Oh, snap. It goes higher. You know what? Let's just wail on this thing. Ninety-eight? You gotta be kidding me. The plot thickens. 98 again. Can I get it higher than 98 becomes the question. I'm going to stay here. I did not see a number for that. Thing. I didn't see a number for it again. Backing out. 85. 71, 85... We're getting ourselves into a whole freaking mess here, aren't we? 98. Dang. I don't know if it can top 100. Back out. 98. Okay. 91. <laughs> spam, 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 spam. Glitch? <laughs> okay. That's what I'm thinking happens. If you overload this thing, like, you know, when we were just standing here infinitely spamming, I'd be like, I didn't see a number, because it would have clearly stood out, it's centrally located above the head, and it would have not been a 20 or a 30, right? It would have been fantastically high. I think this thing maxes out at 98, and good lord, we were selling it short. 64 to 98, that's a differential of 34. So I'm going to say up to 98 witnessed seems to overload i'll go ahead and log that because i'm tired and i might not remember that <laughs> so seems to overload cool uh bomb 17 23 30 37 40 41 we know there's a 91 did we see an 85 one two three let's see what that does oh we overloaded it huh didn't get one. Oh, that's there. 91, okay. 91. Overloaded? <laughs> Apparently. I don't know if it's a proximity thing, maybe? 85. Alright. Stop. Overloaded? Interesting. I wonder if that is proximity. So now I'm going to go ahead and add 85 to this. I assume you could get a critical off of any of these, but I've never seen one this entire time. And I didn't have any logged from the beginning. So, I feel pretty good about our assumption. I mean, it's going up sixes or sevens. And I just don't know the ratio at which that's happening. So, 98, 91, 85, 7, 6, and then would it be 78? 
Or would it be 79? Let's see if we can possibly get one of these. Back out. 71. Okay, let's go ahead and put 71 in here. <laughs> so 64 to 71 is 7. And then if we could get the number between 71 and 85, which is a plus 6 or plus 7, I don't know. Back out. 85. Dad gum, that's the one we had. I was <laughs> one oh. 37 and 64. 51 and 71. I'm getting all the numbers that <laughs> that we see. 98 and 71. Can we just get something right? I think we overloaded both of those. Maybe? 85. Have it. Sixty-four. Dang it. Sixty-four. Wonderful. Eighty-five on both. Gonna be a mystery, isn't it? Seventy-eight and seventy-one. Oh, we finally saw it. We finally saw it. <laughs> All right. So, 98, 91, 85, 78, 71, 64. We're piecing together this puzzle that I'm sure no one else could probably care less about. Uh, I was afraid I'd do this to myself. I really was. 57, 51, 44, 37, 30. You know what? I'm calling that good. Because like I said, who else does this? I don't know of anyone that does. Uh, we will check in editing at some point if you reset your ember or these numbers for some reason stay the same. I hope they don't because if they amplify, that's going to be pretty freaking impressive. But if you're bored and you go through this and you actually find other intervals or see a 105 or a 104, uh, let me know. But I want to do this again. one more time. I want to just max this crud out. No, I saw 168, didn't I? What? What? I thought we were done here. Okay, I didn't see any <laughs> numbers that time. I'm just spamming everything I can at this thing. It fizzled out. Okay. So, Abort. 98 and what, 37? So maybe that was a critical that we saw. 91, cool. Um, would we have a number that would equate to 164? Uh, half of 98 would be 49. That would be one, no. <laughs> Man, I don't know, maybe it was a critical exclamation and then a 64 on the explosion and it looked like 164. I'll figure it out in editing, maybe, if I feel like it and remember. My apologies. But again, I can't feel too bad because I don't know anyone else that does this. How much time have we spent? 18 minutes investigating the base upgrades. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Box stock, I should say. You know, now we're going to get into these, so fantastic. Oh yeah, this is another reason I wasn't a big fan of the chick, because now I see where the complications continued. So, the, I love the concept of this, don't get me wrong, but in terms of Skylanders research and showcasing this, it's nothing I can showcase here. Like, I literally have to go into an arena or a level, and derp around and figure out what this is doing, which I will do off camera, because, again, time crunch. So, immolation, taking damage... Take damage equals cliff note version. Deal damage to enemies. Now, is this going to be proportional? If a chompy bites me and does five damage, do I do three to the chompy? And if a cyclops spinner hits us and does 71 damage, do we do three to it? Or is it proportional? Whereas we do three to five with a chompy, and if someone did what? I don't know, 100 damage to us, we would do 60 to it. I don't know. That's what we have to go figure out. And again, this is why if the training grounds could evolve slightly once again and you could pick 
uh, to have an enemy that can deal damage to investigate these particular type of upgrades, it would just be fin fantastic. And if I could pick between like garden variety enemy that hits lightly and you can just kind of see you know what they do to get a clump of enemies so you can assess area of effect attacks and then if we could get something like the shadow knights from ssa that are just behemoths that you just literally wail away at uh, would also be much appreciated so i can't comment on this one here but i do think it's cool regardless uh, and being a base upgrade that's fine with me lava impact Air attacks, which what the frick does that mean? Does that mean our jump attack? <laughs> I mean, like, air attack, what? <laughs> yeah, you know, these things, man, they weigh on you. But uh, air attacks leave a pool of fire that slows down enemies. Now on the agenda, figuring out what an air attack is. I do that with air quotes, <laughs> you know. So, air attack. We're, we're looking for a pool of lava. Don't have one there. Didn't get one there. Don't see one there. It has to be that. Which is cool. Because, again, I love the jump attack. 40 to 60. I've got to say, why can't Peñata have this? You know, I'm still of the cautious, optimistic type that believes we should get, you know, like an adventure pack or two through the fall and the winter, you know, like October-ish Halloween and then, you know, Christmas time, you know, Black Friday on through Christmas. Can we please get a patch where Peñata has a smash attack for Frick's sakes? I just want the man to jump up in the air and I want him to slam the sucker down or whatever he's holding and just have like a shockwave type of a thing come. You know, or it spew candy out. I don't. I don't know. He just deserves it, and it really bothers me that he doesn't have one. But this is pretty sweet. This thing was doing 40 to 60. Oh yeah. Oh, spammable. I'm loving it. How long do these things last? Quite some time. Okay, let's count this one. I'd say seven seconds. We'll go ahead and go with that so lava impact jump attack which i specifically log in the spreadsheet <laughs> which uh it's an air attack apparently uh in this case jump attack leaves a seven second lava pool at and another perk of being down here number one with a fire element i think it looks better but we move quicker as well but the other thing is, things like this just work out better because if this is a high damage number, it would decimate the dummies before I could count how many hits of damage. And down here, it's just easier to count it hits nine times. So let's figure that out. Can we not? What's the problem? Ten. I'll take it. At 16 to 24, didn't get a critical there, but frick, that makes it pretty salty. Now, we're still doing the same 40 to 60, but think about that. If you do 16 10 times, there's a crit, so we know it's possible. 16 10 times is 160, okay? And then if you do 40, that, this attack, all, all box stock will do 200 damage. Think about that ramps up when you go critical so i have zero issues plus look if this was like a really intimidating enemy boom you just kind of pogo it throw a few of these bad boys down then you go into your secondary and then you come in and you just you know melee the weakened enemy yeah she's got some potential i'll say that much so uh that's a fantastic upgrade in my opinion a lot of people won't be fans of it but uh I am. So, Supernova. How many times has Supernova been the name of an upgrade now, I wonder? Press Y. Oh, the tertiary. It was saved for third in the base upgrades. That's an interesting point for it. It's typically either the very first thing, the second one, or the last one. Uh, so, yes, I know these things, and I talk about them when I'm in a sleep-deprived state, apparently. So, 900. Supernova. Cool name. Better not disappoint. It looks cool. 
Let's pick it up and see what we can do. Once again, look how quickly we've done three of these in the time we spent attempting to like do fractions of flame geyser. <laughs> you know? So it's, you know, one of the things. Let's come over here and just get a gander at it. Oh. Okay. So, if I just press Y. She does that if I hold Y. It's the same distance. But I can sort of manipulate it slightly. I mean, it's not something that's going to be fantastic. Now, let's face the camera. I was facing away, if you didn't know. So we're going to face the camera. Firestorm. Oh, I like this animation way better. It's like it hovers above her. When we were going this way, I thought that thing was like spawning over here and then coming towards us. Now that I'm facing the camera, I realize it makes way more sense this way. It's like it comes out of the staff and then she just directs it towards the ground. So uh, this is just what I would assume straight up. It looks like it goes slightly you know, one direction, but now I'm going to use the analog stick towards the A join. Okay, so she kind of changes directions with it. Okay, so I think it will be directional, but uh, let's see if we can hit from here. This might be too far away. Oh, no! And look at that area. Oh, this is salty. This is very salty. 74 to 111. You go, girl. This is great. <laughs> very happy with it. Uh, and the cool thing is, I mean, like, of all the times to get area of effect, you would think, well, you're over too far. You know, you're just going to squarely hit that dummy. But nope. Even from here. Cool. So yeah, of course we get it there. Yeah, okay, this is... That's a great... That's a really good tertiary attack, I've got to say. When you aim for perfection... Yep, sorry, honey, I can't, can't listen right now. Ultra Supernova, yes, please. I want to see this thing upgraded. Hold Y to charge up the Supernova. I'm kind of a fan of these because I don't want to lose the ability to just spam the 74 to 111 version. And it sounds like from... The description here I can still spam that thing and then I can also charge it up which is uh, great the more user control I have the typically the more happier I am with the upgrade so spammable state I mean it's not like lightning fast but I mean think of the devastation with that damage number you know that's insane so now let's see let's see what we got to do Oh, there's two stages. It appears to be a two-second hold and a three-second hold. You can maintain mobility, which is awesome. Okay, like, picture her walking through Chaos's castle, <laughs> you know, and you're the poor troll. It's like, okay, go stop the Skylander, loser. <laughs> and then this chick shows up. So, sadly, I'm going to show you... Well, let's not. Let's build up to it. So, I'll slam it down over here, and we'll just check it out. Oh, shockwave. See, that's what I want from Peñata. Something like that. Alright, so I'm going to try to throw this down with just the two-second hold. Let's see if we can pull it off. Supernova. 160! Oh, this thing is awesome. That's like over double. Good grief, lady. This is so great. Okay, so hold two seconds. 160. Do you know what the crit on that is? I do. It's 80, and that means you would be doing 240. I shouldn't say what the crit is, but what the interval is. It would be 80. 160 to 240 from stage 2. Hold 3 seconds, which this will be the max tier, at least for now. If this thing gets upgraded, I'm taking that path, man. Uh, it's been so long, I honestly don't remember what are legit... Uh, path upgrades are, but we're going to hold it for three seconds, which is again the max tier that you saw me throw down over there. What? Oh, dang. Oh, I don't even have to do the math. 217 to 326. That thing's awesome. Okay, once again, her base upgrades, let's not lie, let's not candy coat it. They're a complete pain in the butt to figure out, okay? If you're literally wanting to go in there, and let's be honest, we've spent a ton of time on it. I still don't know how many times we're doing 16 to 22. I feel like 22 to 33, stage 2, is maybe 4, but I don't know for sure. 16 to 22, I feel like, is slightly more than that, maybe 5 or 6. 
The Flame Geyser, for pity's sake, man, I still don't have all those numbers. It's going up by 6 and 7 here and there. <laughs> I'll see if I can figure out a pattern to that. But, dang, were we rewarded later on. So, Immolation, which that reminds me of Sunburn because he had Immolation teleportation. The things you remember from Skylander Spyro's adventure, pat yourself on the back. If you recollected Immolation Teleportation, or even if you're like, Immolation, I've heard that before in a Skylanders game. <laughs> so, uh, we don't even know what that does, and my apologies, I am not showcasing that thing here. I will promise you, when we come in and do whichever path I select for her first, I, assuming I don't forget, <laughs> will tell you what Immolation does. I might even showcase it. Uh, frick, I guess we could do it now, why not, right? 30 minutes in? Sure. <laughs> What's not to love? Um, so we don't know what that does, and it's going to be cool because let's say these guys hit me, boom, they take damage. It's like thorns in Minecraft, right? Fantastic stuff. I love the standard jump attack. It gets upgraded with this lava pit, which again can do like 200 residual damage over time. And then, then we get Supernova thrown in the mix, and oh, it's got three stages here with insane numbers. Now, I was thinking 74 to 111 seemed ridiculously high. So I'm thinking, okay, well, we charge it up. What are we going to do? We're going to go to 78 and then 85 or something? Nope. 74 all the way up to 217, which again, on the critical side, if you were to land one of these, 326. Get wrecked. And there's that residual shockwave thing. And we can't see what that does to the <laughs> punching bag dummies, so we've got to go up here and test out the training dummies, because that's what we do with our life at this time of night. Get out of my way, I ain't buying your stuff. Okay, speaking of, you know, if you wanted if you wanted to be a useful robot, you would sell me frickin' Blastertron and Tidepool. Oh, and maybe you could deliver frickin' Lost Imaginite Mines and Robo. I haven't covered that in this video because I forgot at the beginning. I was in Target, what was it, Wednesday night or Tuesday night? Some night, a couple days ago. Nothing. No Blastertron, no Tidepool. And I was thinking when I went in there, I checked them online again like I do multiple times every day. Still says the store doesn't have any, that they've never had any. Uh, I've checked with the employees, and they say they've never had them. And I thought, you know, it's probably more likely I would get really lucky and find Lost Imaginite Mines at Target. That didn't happen. Then I even went to Toys R Us. I was rushing home. I was trying to do everything super fast because it looked like a hailstorm was coming in from the west. Nothing there. I literally, I was going to walk out the door and then this dude that recognizes me as someone that's in there all the time buying Skylanders and or Nintendo products was like, didn't find what you needed? I said, nope, didn't. He said, well, what you looking for? And I told the guy and he was like, well, let me see if it's in the system. Nothing. Nothing was in the system. Whatever in the system means to him, which looked to be him typing in Skylanders and seeing if there was something slated for delivery, <laughs> you know, didn't have anything. So... Uh, I assume if any of those were to arrive Sunday and they were going to be like in their weekly ad, it would have been quote-unquote in the system, i.e. sitting in their back warehouse room so they could put it out and sell it Sunday or already have it on the shelf and then refuse to sell it to me because it's register locked, which is what typically happens to me, even though it seems like everyone else that has that happen gets to buy the items because management feels sorry for them. But no. So I know some of you will be asking, hey, you got Blastertron or Tide Pool yet? No, I don't. My target's never had them and I don't know why. And since it was a target first, you know, I can't like run into GameStop and check there or have buddies at GameStop hold it for me. Uh, or, you know, hit up, I don't know, you know, I, when I tweeted that on uh, Twitter, right after I'd gotten back and beat the hailstorm, by the way, uh, Tim was like, I bet this is going to be wham shell. <laughs> I certainly hope not, because I got extreme, this is SSA before Activision sent me anything, um, I'm still surprised I was able to get wham shell, that was an absolute nightmare. Uh, and he had a lot of hype built up, I think, because he was just impossible to find. I still don't think he was that great of a character, and I get a lot of flack for that, but if I were to rate the 32 original SSA Skylanders, I'm pretty sure he would be at the bottom. So uh, he did come back with a light core, which I'm sure that's ridiculously hard to find now, too. But, uh, I mean, I kind of, he grows on you, but it's not like, oh, this guy, this whamshell guy. 
<laughs> you know. So I tell you what, let's come in here and we're just gonna we're just gonna take out all of our anger on this poor soul. I wanna see he should go flying. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's get four dummies in here. And uh, I'm gonna stand right here and try to center them for you. This does look way cooler here, you got to admit. Yeah. <laughs> this is so great. So if I just spam them... Angry opponents defeat themselves mm -hmm, before the they do. Even begins. I don't know if it's angry opponents as much as it's like, oh good lord, she has a giant supernova on the top of her sentinel staff. So what we want to do now, I haven't even clipped it for you, but we do have the Sky Chi, which is extremely annoying to get to because the Sentinel Shrine is in Scholarville and it's literally right before you go and fight the dragon thing in the sewer uh, to get the ultimate helm of wisdom, as I like to call it. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go ahead and unleash the fury here and then we'll do the Burn! I like this game. When my Sky Chi is strong, my enemies are not. Well, it better be strong because it's a complete pain to get to if you have to reacquire it. You know, if you're first going through the level, it's not a big deal at all. But when you have to reset the chick and then go back to it, <laughs> no bueno, no bueno. So uh, let's go ahead and read that. I'm not going to cover immolation here. I'll do that off camera. My apologies. But <laughs> I got to say, like, this is pretty good. Samurai combo. We still don't have the number of times. I'll figure that out. Flame Geyser just keeps getting better. Uh, it does seem to cap out around 98, though, uh, which is interesting. They don't mention anything along those lines, but um, I'll try to solidify that somewhat when I'm maybe like over the weekend. This we're going to have to assess. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. She's doing pretty well for herself, and we haven't even gotten to the path upgrades yet. So, uh, what we just unleashed was her Supernova Storm, her Sky Chi power. Uh, so, hold the right trigger to perform your Sky Chi power. Shoot shurikens and supernovae at everyone. Use left stick to move around. I could do without the shurikens. I mean, although her skirt lifted up like that kind of does look like a shuriken. And it makes sense, given her attire and uh, whatnot, her background story. Still, though, since she's a sentinel and the supernova is so awesome, I'd have been fine with just, like, shrapnel from that. But uh, let's come in. The last thing I want to do together, I've never known what these are called, and I finally get to see. So, Samurai Combo Path. Improve your Samurai Techniques. Okay, simple enough. Living Bomb Path. Improve Living Bomb-based abilities. Oh, snap. <laughs> it's like... Just when you thought it got easy. So, uh, living bomb path. Let's briefly skim these again while we're on. The gain damage bonus based on... Oh, that's... I can't even get excited about that because that's just going to be one of those things that like, how many hours do we have to devote to figuring that out? <laughs> you know? Oh, a dash. Hold X to dash. Ooh. I love me some dashes. You should know that. Speed and armor. Samurai combo finisher. I guess she was just half-heartedly going through people previously. XXB for Buddha Palm. XXY for Fire Tornado. Okay, so dash and tornado. Very appealing. That's just something I'm dreading documenting. It sounds cool, I will, will admit. Greater Living Bomb. Bombs deal area damage. That's pretty practical. Uh, bombs heal Ember. Oh, man. Wonder how much. <laughs> you know, if they told you that, you could pick the right path from the beginning. Meteor shower, hold... W oh, no. Oh, man. Now, the problem I have with this is we never... Flame geysers never, like, directly enhanced. <laughs> and I thought there'd be one where, like, you spawn three flame geysers at once. Like, I assumed one of these would be three flame geysers. Here's the thing, though. This is the supernova, and that's amazing. Oh, but wait, will it screw up? Like, we do a two-second hold and then a three-second hold. Is this a four-second hold? Because if it overrides my two- and three-second items, I don't want anything to do with this, although it would be interesting. Um... This, again, it's probably not huge gains. It's probably like 2 to 5 to 8-ish. 
But again, over time, you can just basically replenish yourself. That could be pretty practical. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, she's got, it looks like, two pretty, pretty freaking good paths. I'll just leave it at that. So let me come out here real quick. Yeah, there's no way to really have multiples of these. It's just basically by the time that one spawns, there's like a slight cooldown before you can do another one. So that's interesting that it focuses more on the living bomb than creating more geysers or increasing the geysers' direct damage. That might be a knock on that one. I don't know. So instead of sitting here and debating that, we'll kind of recap things when we go in. Again, my strategy is always to pick the path I think would be best for the character last because what I want to do if I just let's say fell in love with the supernova so much which I pretty much did that meteor shower meant the world to me and nothing else mattered I would come in we would take samurai combo first we would reset her we'd go get the money we'd go get the sky chi again which is such a freaking pain in this game and then we'd come in and take the living bomb path with the assumption I'm going to love it and not have to reset again, which isn't always the case, sadly. So uh, that's why I still, and again, there was a period in time when I actually made money on YouTube. And what I did with it is I reinvested into what I was doing to actually have made the money. So I would have a second Skylander. And instead of me having to take my personal time off camera to go through, reset the character, go back and reacquire everything because you have to remember there weren't always money tricks okay like it was a legit grind fest back in the day uh, so what i would do is i would get a second skylander then it saves me a lot of time in the end but honestly it f and they were also 9.99 back then uh it's 16 bucks a pop <laughs> so, and not making anything on youtube that's kind of a big deal so uh, if I was making decent money on YouTube, I would seriously consider it for the time savings. It uh, would honestly be the the best thing. Plus, then I could showcase both paths at the same time. If someone was like, oh man, you took Ember down the Samurai path. I wanted to see your living bomb in a level. I'd be like, oh, okay. And boom, I'd switch to Ember 2 and there you go. <laughs> you know. But uh, <clears throat> I gotta say, base upgrades complete pain to document, but... I'm sorry, box stock upgrades, but the base upgrades, awesome. Just straight up awesome. Uh, very, very impressed with this lady. She's on fire, I suppose. Speaking of that, the big release from NBA Playgrounds today, if you bought it on the Switch like I did, they didn't actually release the online update, which really ticked people off again today. It's like salt on a wound. I'm personally not too concerned because I love the game without online play. Uh, that's how big of a fan I am of what they've done with it. But if you bought it, you get Shaq Fu. And the thing is, the way I understand this, I could be wrong. You might want to double check. If you've watched my Playground videos and you're like, that's a really sweet game. I should pick that up, but I'm waiting for online. Don't. Go ahead and pick it up now. Uh, as long as you have bought the game before their patch comes out, which will be the online play, this fall, they're going to give everyone that bought it ahead of the patch a copy of Shaq Fu Remastered. I can't think of the exact title right now. I realized Shaq Fu wasn't a great game. The remaster doesn't look too bad. I haven't seen a ton on it. But, uh, I, you know, most people were complaining about that. I'm cool with it. And again, that's mainly in part because I didn't buy the game specifically for online. I was like, oh, it's like NBA Jam. You know, it's, it's a must-own. And again, being able to play that on the go at the Switch has been fantastic. So um, that is something to note that is important because if you were thinking of getting it, I know several of you said you were, that's a pretty sweet deal in my opinion. But uh, nonetheless, I will wrap this up and uh, get it rendering and it'll probably take about until I have to wake up in the morning, which I guess means I can have it uploading when I head off to work. <laughs> but it's uh, 1.37 a.m., not a late time for me, but I'm just drained from the last two days and my apologies there but she kind of perked me up i'm not gonna lie and uh, that's good that's what you want when you play a game you want it to be your happy safe place where only good things happen aside from having to document ridiculous amounts of information regardless of how insane the damage numbers may be but so uh, nonetheless if you did quantitative analysis on this chick it's pretty insane 
box stock and base i gotta say so only should get better from here so stay tuned for that one of wisdom.com is the website make sure you follow me on twitter i always tweet my videos again today i was so busy i literally tweeted the videos and i never got to post them to facebook or google plus so my apologies there but again priority is on twitter in those cases uh, i will always tweet before i go live whether i'm streaming on mixer the new beam essentially uh youtube or twitch so make sure to uh pay attention there as well that said i'm gonna quit rambling get this thing rendered out hope everybody has a great friday i hope you're enjoying your summer uh again just insane to think it's june i was so busy and then with the family coming in i got home at like 10 20 or 10 30 it was basically right as kevin durant's interview was done i flipped the tv on i was like i'll get to see the final you know the end of the game maybe like the last five six minutes or something you know and nope it was kevin durant being interviewed by doris burke and then he went and hugged his mom and they went to commercial and i was like i missed the whole game <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that was sad but uh nonetheless you know what to do if you enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment let me know your thoughts on ember have you upgraded her did you not pick her up uh did you see somebody that you're like yeah i'm gonna buy this character first and you were sitting on her uh, based on what we just did here tonight i would have to say she's definitely worth picking up particularly if you can catch her on sale so uh, nonetheless, if you have already gotten her and you've taken both paths, go ahead and let me know which one you liked better and why. But uh, that said, I'm going to go. I hope everybody gets more sleep than me. And uh, like I said, I hope you have a great Friday and great weekend. I will try to crank out another research video every other day if I get some time. Um, I thought game two was Saturday night. It's not. If I'm not doing a, a group recording in Minecraft over the weekend saturday night time frame we might come in and stream some levels so you know, look out for that but uh, just follow me on twitter or check the website uh, in the corner wannaweezum.com i've got my twitter feed if you're not on twitter that'll kind of show you the same thing so that said i'll quit rambling my apologies for being so tired i'm gonna go shower drink some chocolate milk and i try to have this up for you tomorrow so stay tuned thanks for watching i'll catch you back here as we continue our skylanders research 